Hi guys, today we will be making chicken avo pasta to spice up life on the quarantine. First, boil a bag of pasta into a pan of hot steaming water. This should be enough for about three people. Don't forget to add some salt to your pasta water for better taste. Boil the pasta till it is fully cooked through and soft. This should take around 7 to 10 minutes. While your pasta boils, get an avocado and cut it in half to scoop out the best bits inside and put it in a bowl. Like this. Make sure you don't hurt yourself in this process. We've decided to add two avocados for extra taste. This is a family of avocado lovers. Make sure you crush the avocado down a bit, just to make it smoother than it already is. Now transfer that avocado into a food processor and scrape all around the bowl so everything's inside. Now add two to three tablespoons of virgin olive oil into all your avocado directly into the food processor. Now squeeze a whole lemon onto your avocado into the food processor to give it that zing. Now add about half a teaspoon of sugar followed by one teaspoon of salt. Now add a quarter cup of water into the mixture because this will turn into a paste. Now blitz the mixture until it's a nice creamy paste. This is what your mixture should look like. After your pasta is boiled, strain the boiled water very, very carefully. Don't burn yourself. Then place a non-stick pan onto the gas on medium heat and pour about one tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil into it and let the oil heat up in the pan. Now add some shredded chicken to the pan and you can buy any shredded chicken at any supermarket around you. They're normally always cut to fine small pieces, which is perfect for the pasta, especially for kids. Now transfer your pasta to the pan as well, and saute the chicken and the pasta together. Pour all of the avocado mixture you made on top of the pasta, and move it around, scoop it around, so that the whole pasta is coated in the mixture. Remember to mix the mixture in the sauce very well. Remember to coat the pasta and the chicken and the sauce completely so that the taste is gorgeous and you can taste it in every bite you take. Now add a generous helping of Parmesan cheese all around and on top of the cooked pasta. Parmesan cheese, cheese made by the gods themselves. Now it's time to serve up your pasta most perfect delicious look. Now add a generous helping of parmesan cheese on top and for the spice lovers out there grate some red chilies into your pasta for your pasta to have a tiny bit of a kick. And now your chicken avo pasta is ready to eat. And that's cooking you a dinner.